Hello, Dallas ISD family. My name is Coach Neal. I am the PE teacher at Umfrey Lee Elementary. Please excuse my corona cuts or lack thereof. I've been observing proper social distancing guidelines and it has not allowed for trips to the bar room. Um, I am so honored to be here to lead you guys in a workout as well as give you some activity ideas to keep you active and healthy during this most difficult time. So, with no further ado, we're going to get warmed up with some jumping jacks and away we go. important to get your body warmed up and get that heart moving, the blood flowing through your veins, so all your muscles so they are ready to do some real work. All right, now that we've gotten our muscles warmed up, let's go ahead and get a little bit of a stretch going on. We'll start with a little bit of a power position, like so. Breathe in, do you know? Out through your mouth. And do you know? Out through your mouth. And up, get those hands parallel. Don't forget your breathing, into your nose, out through your mouth. So relax your shoulders, give a little look up, and a stretch from the sky. Hold that position. All right, intersect those arms. We're gonna step back a little bit. And we're gonna touch our toes. Keep your feet flat on the ground, dangle your arms. Stretch down slowly as far as you can. Hold that position. No bouncing. If you bounce on this position, you can actually really hurt yourself. Now that you've gone a little bit, try and go a little bit more. Hold that position and leave it right there. All right, now we're gonna go to some push-ups. I'm gonna use my little mat right here. I'm gonna go side view for you. And make sure that when you're doing your push-ups, you're dropping into a 90 degree angle. Keeping your back nice and straight. All right, and hands just underneath your shoulders, not too wide. Back straight. And we'll do these for about 30 seconds, and then we'll take a break in the second set. Ready? Away we go. All right, take a little break there. Move your arms down, get, get them feeling good again. And give me one second while I get a prop. All right. For my second set, I'm gonna be doing it on the back of a chair. I like to do this in front of a TV. It lets me do my push-ups while still having a good look at the television. So, and it's still in the same position. We're not gonna sacrifice any form for this. We're just gonna do it at a slightly different angle, which will make it a little bit easier, but maybe we'll do it more often. So, keep your back straight, and just underneath your shoulders, and another 30 seconds, away we go. Alright, good job y'all. Okay, we are going to 
finish you up with a couple sets of curl ups. Curl ups are basically like sit ups. Your knees are you're sitting on the ground, your knees are bent. You curl up, but you don't have your hands on your head or your neck. When you do that, you have to pull and stretch the muscle where it doesn't need to be stretched. That can be really painful. So we're going to keep our hands on the ground. We're going to move back like this. And we're going to slide up just a little bit with our hands continuing on the mat like so. Just a little bit. Trust me, you'll feel the burn. Ready? And away we go. Our activities are centered around activities you can do with a ball. Um, if you have a soccer ball or a baseball or tennis ball, you could use those. But if you don't, we have one, something simulated here, which is a toilet paper roll secured safely in a sock. I know how valuable toilet paper is these days. So trust me, no toilet paper will be harmed in the making of this video. First thing we're going to do is very simple. It's going to be just juggling as if this was a soccer ball. So let me step back a little bit and get a little bit of a flow going. Ready? And one, two. All right, we're going to be juggling this as if it was a soccer ball. I'm going to start on my knees because that's the easiest way to get something to get started. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Oh, got nine. All right, here's another little, another little activity. It's a little basketball activity. Wait a second, let me back up a little bit more. How about right here? Okay, so we're gonna be just taking it through a slow figure eight for kind of level one. Level two, you're gonna be able to go a little bit faster and maybe just toss it to the other hand and not going all the way around. Working on those, working on those ball handling skills. Okay, another little something we got here is the switch hands. Boom, boom, boom. See so if you can do that 10 times in a row. Also, along with that basketball thing, we've got a little mummy wrap here around your body, all the way around. And uh, try not to hold it and give it to the other hand. Give it a little bit of a throw, and that'll work on your catch. All right. I have just a couple more to go through. Let me refer back to my book. All right, this next one is just simply throwing it up in the air and giving it a catch. To make it a little more fun, to catch the baby. So ready to throw that baby up and catch that baby. Don't you drop that baby. All right, up and down. If you can do it that far, hey, let's go a little farther. Don't worry, baby, I got you. Okay, if you want to take it up another level, another, another level, let's try it behind our back. Woo, nice. And wait a second, back again, higher. Make sure you keep your eyes on the target. Okay. We only have one more for you, and that is the punching bag. Punching bag. Come with me this way. All right. I have my sock and my toilet paper roll right here. I, and we're having it in a punching bag type thing. We, I had to add an extra sock to it. You may be uh, one, two, or three soccer. I don't know where you need to be. Add it to your specifications. 
Uh, if you have it dangling in front of you, you have it suspended over a doorway with a thumbtack, so you're not going to be able to get too crazy with it, but you can develop a little bit of the timing with it, and it is kind of fun just to get a little bit of your aggression out on that toilet paper roll. Remember, don't worry about that toilet paper roll. It's okay. Thanks for your time, guys. Stay active.